guys, welcome back to my video. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button, turn notification, and give me a huge thumbs up. So today, um, I'm going to be reading a book. <clears throat> and so it's called Malcolm Mitchell, my very favorite book in the whole wide world. Okay, so let's get started. Hi, I'm Henry. And this is a story about finding my very favorite book in the whole wide world. This is Henley. I think he's going to put this in his hand. But it wasn't as easy as it sounds. Reading can be hard, you know. Once upon a time, everyone thought I hated to read. But that's not just not true. This is Henley reading a book. <clears throat> in some books the words are too big the sentences too long and there are way too many pages I'm going to read all of this because I'm going to make it all the time in other books the pictures have zero to do with cool things I like or with what's inside of me. It, I try, I do try, but some books are so giant. If I stood on them, I would turn into a giant. Other books are, are so boring, I'd rather use them as pillows. So this picture of him reading is of him standing on lots and lots of books. Um, I don't know, let's count on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. He's standing on twelve books right now. Okay, um, so this is a picture of him standing on the books, like I said, and this is him sleeping on the books right here. I don't think you can see it that good, but he's sleeping. In other books, the pictures have zero. Oh, sorry, I just that. When I'm supposed to be reading homework, I'd rather play football in the backyard. When I'm asked to read the cookbook to help make dinner, I would rather see how many grapes I can put in my mouth. This is him fitting. Doing that first, I'm gonna say this is him throwing a ball at his dog, and this is him saying how much how much grapes he can fit in his mouth. But that looks like a lot of grapes. Once I took a wagon full of books to the town swimming pool to find out how good they could swim. I see a books in the wagon and the dog on top of the books. And you can see a pool right here too. And it looks like he's about to go to the pool. Because you can see his sleeping trunks. <clears throat> when I tried to read books about dinosaurs, they made my brain hurt. So I gave the books back to the dinosaurs. This is dinosaur. I think that's an extinct dinosaur because you can even see the bones and stuff. But I think this is a fiction. Yeah. This but this can also happen though. But this part is fiction. You just know it. Because. Yeah. It's fiction. Okay. I've tried reading books about mountains, pickles, aliens, monsters, cat chasing mice, and mice chasing cats. I even found a book about cats chasing mice up and, and mountains while aliens eat pickles with monsters. But none of those made reading easier for or more fun. But but that all changed with Miss Joy who gave the words homework assignment. This is what the story I think this is what he was talking about with the story he just said. Okay, find your find your very favorite book in the whole wide world. 
and bring it to school tomorrow. It can be a book about anything. Just make sure you love it because you'll be sharing it with the the class with the class. And this is Oh yeah, this is the page. I just read they're sitting on the carpet and I'm about to read this page. But I'm just going to show you this one right now because it's connected to that. The school bell sounded like a hundred horns blowing in my ear. Thinking about the yucky homework assignment gave me a super headache and made my hands sweaty. I'm going to just skip the page because we already saw that. We already saw that. Um, on the way home from school, I stopped by the mighty library hoping to find any book that could be my fav my very favorite. This is him going in the library. This is the library. And this is like a tape. This is really paper. Okay. My friends went into the library ahead of me. When it comes to finding books, I'm not so fast. Inside there was a nice man sitting behind a jumbo-sized desk. I asked him if, if he could help me find my very favorite book in the whole wide world. So, this is him going inside, and this is the man that works there. You can see that pop. And this is the little guy. Pinsley. He showed me books about science and adventures and squishy animals. He flipped through the pages of, of books about flags, farms, and holidays. He found plenty of books with twisty book, big word sentences as long as my legs and pictures that tangled the, pa the pages. It gave me the heavy jeppies. I don't even know what heavy jeppies is, but... Okay... This is him in the library trying to find his very own book. There we go. Okay, next page. When I saw my friends in the middle of the library having fun and reading, I felt more lost than ever. This is him in the library and he sees his friend. And I think he doesn't know what to do, so yeah, he felt lost. The next place I tried to go, I tried with Miss Rackley's bookshop. Maybe she could help me find my very favorite book. This is Miss Rackley. Oh gosh. <laughs> Miss Rackley did, did what she does best. She brought piles and piles of books. I looked at and looked and looked, but I couldn't call my uh, call, call any of them my very favorite book in the whole wide world. All those pages and all those words made my eyes tired. I realized it was going to take a book miracle to find my very favorite book. I grew a sad face and stomped all the way home. And that's Miss Rackley holding the books, and this is him. Oh, can you see it? This is him sitting in a chair, sad. Oh, what if this doesn't turn out that good? Mama was unloading the dryer, and she could tell I was having a crummy day. This is her, his mom. His mom folding. This is him coming inside. The librarian and Miss Rackley tried their best to help me find a book, but it was no use. I'll never find my very favorite book in the whole wide world. This is him and his mom. The, mom, the little boy trying to explain how he would find his book. With the voice as with the voice with the voice as warm as rules from an oven, Mama said, Henry, sometimes the best stories can be found inside ourselves. 
After a sweet kiss on the forehead, Mama's words lit up inside me. That's the mom. That's the mom. That's when I had a brilliant idea. This is him having an idea. Wow, this might not turn out bad. The next morning, I could hardly wait for my turn to share. My very favorite book in the whole wide world. This is him. Wait, where is he? Oh, he's right there. Okay. I stood proud all, as all eyes roll as all eyes in the reading circle stared at me. This is him about to present his book. Everyone thinks I hate to read, but that's not true. Yes, some words are too big and some sentences are too long, but that's not my biggest challenge. But for today, I just hadn't found a book I wanted to read. I hadn't found the book, the words, or pictures, or pages, or sentences, or subjects that showed me me. So last night, I wrote a book. It's called My Very Favorite Book in the Whole Wide World. It's about a big, fat, fat, bumpy journey to finding the perfect book. My book has has words and pictures and pages that show me that show me me and that show you me and that show you me it didn't sell that much either. when I started reading my book out loud for everyone to hear I struggled but soon my words began to flow the pictures I drew danced off the page Everyone can have a very favorite book in the whole wide world, even if they have to write it. When I was done telling my story, all my classmates clapped and cheered. This is him in the book. Is he reading a book or not? Read? And this is him when he was trying to find the book. And this is the people clapping and cheering. My teacher gave me a gold star on my homework, and that's the truth. The end. Now, I'm going to do something a little bit a little bit more fun. So, hold on. I'll be right back. Okay. Now, I'm going to ask you a few questions. Okay. The first question is, if you need help, um... I'll, sh I'll tell you, if you don't know how to read that good, I'll tell you what it says. Okay, this says, what is the little boy's name? And I'm going to give you choices. I'm gonna give you choices because you can't really see it that good on the board, so yeah. Mm. Okay, the choices are Miss Joy, Miss Rackley, and Henley. You have five seconds to answer. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. If you said Henley, you are correct. It even says his name on the first page because it will always say like people who know introduce themselves. Okay. Next question. Okay, it says, what was the mom doing when he got home? Okay, I'm going to give choices. 
Okay, so this says, what was the mom doing when he got home? Was he, was, was she, was she putting away the dishes, fixing dinner, or putting the clothes in the dryer? Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. If you put, put, Putting the clothes in the dryer, you are correct. And now for our last question. This is a bonus, so yeah. How did, what do you think Henley felt about his book? Do you think he felt happy? Do you think he felt mad? This time I'm not going to write the questions down. I want you to think of that and put it down in the comment below. And um, thank you for watching this video and make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and make sure to subscribe to TTV Sisters. Bye!